Hi, this is Diane with Allen Resources. I'm going to be going through some of the features and benefits of using TestBank software. You can generate a test in three easy steps. In step one, you're simply going to be inputting the number of questions you would like in your test, and then you have the option of showing three answer choices or all answer choices. In TestBank, we have more than three answer choices available. Um, we have up to seven answer choices, which will be a little more time consuming and it makes it a little more difficult to find the correct answer. Um, you, if you would rather just have the three answer choices showing, you simply click here and it will be much like you'll, you'll see on exam day. In step two, you have the option of choosing your least often seen questions, which these are the questions that you have seen the least. Uh, we recommend using this um, early in your studying when you have not seen all the questions yet in Test Bank. This will avoid seeing duplicates. The second option you have is your most often missed questions. What these are are the questions that you have gotten incorrect the most often. Um, so further into your studying, when you'd like to see more of your challenge questions, you simply click on this feature and it will bring up questions that you have gotten incorrect in previous exams. The third option is your flagged questions. These are questions that you have seen before in previous tests. Um, you'll notice near the Go button there's a column labeled flagged and you can see we have five questions flagged. These are questions that um, you're, you may want to readdress at a later date so while you're taking a test um, you're able to flag them and then go back to them later. The third step is simply choosing the subjects that you would like included in your test. Um, as you can see, you can click next to all level one subjects and that will put green check marks near all the study sessions and Test Bank will pull questions from all those subjects. Or you can unclick that and if you would like to generate a customized test, you can simply click on whatever study sessions you want the questions pulled from um, and that will generate a customized test. And then also you'll see next to each study session there's a small arrow, if you click on that, a drop down appears and you can actually pull questions from specific readings. So if, if you had only gotten through a couple of readings in that study session, you can actually hop on Test Bank and take questions just from those readings. Uh, for right now what we're going to do is we will go down to Corporate Finance and we'll pick a couple of readings in there and then to generate your test you simply click on the go button and test bank will generate a test with the options that you chose. Now as you can see at the top of the screen it shows you the subject that this question comes from and also the reading. Then you have your question box and to the right you have your answer choices you simply click on the box that you believe is the correct answer and then you can move on to the next. And you can just keep taking your test by clicking on the correct answer. Now there are a few other features you'll notice. Um, at the top of the screen it tells you what question you're at and how many questions are in the total test and then there's also a percentage showing and what that is is the percent of questions that you have gotten correct thus far and you'll see that number change as you move along in your test depending on how many you're getting right and wrong. Here we're going to choose a answer and if you go down below you can click on show answer and that will show you the rationale. Um, well first it shows you highlighted in green what the correct answer is, highlighted in beige is the answer that you cho chose, which in this case I chose the incorrect answer, and then here you have the rationale for how we came up with the correct answer. Uh, then you can keep continuing on. Another thing you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there's a timer that is basically counting down, um, and this will help you with time management as you're taking questions. And 
further into this demo, I'll show you. You can actually actually change the amount of time you would like allotted for each question. You can also turn that feature off if you don't want it. Um, the end button, you can choose that at any time you want to end your test. Um, and then we have a report issue button, which you can use um, anytime you want to report any kind of issue about a question, answer, or rationale. If there's something you think may be a typo or just if you can't understand the answer choice after reading the rationale, um, you can send us an email. The report issue will pop up an email that will be sent to Allen Resources with your comments. And then previously I had mentioned the flag button. This is simply a, a button that allows you to flag a question that you want to see again. And as you see, it turns yellow so that you know that your question is in fact flagged. And then you can simply continue on taking questions. And once you've either completed the test, or in this case, we'll stop at 10, and then you can go back down to the bottom of the screen, click on end, and now you have the option to either grade your test or return to your test. We're going to see what our grade is, and here you have how many you got correct, incorrect, and how many you didn't answer. And now you have the option to retake all of the questions, retake only the incorrect questions, review your test, or go back to the main menu, which is what we're going to do. Now once you get back to the main menu, all the stats that were compiled during this test will now be included in your stats um, for you to review. Now the other features in Test Bank are at the bottom of the screen. You'll see we have settings and tools. Um, you can review and retake any of your saved exams. You simply click on this button and that will bring up a screen that has the exams that you've taken so far. And you can review them. If you click on the review button, it will bring up the 10, in this case, 10 questions that you had taken and it will show you how you answered them, the correct answer, what you answered. If it, if it was correct, obviously that'll show. If it was incorrect, that will also show. Um, or you can retake the questions or if you don't want to see this test again, you can simply delete it. Now we'll go back to the main menu. And we have a couple more features to demonstrate on the main menu. We have a feature for worldwide rankings. If you click on this, it brings up a screen. And everyone who is using Test Bank, be it through an Android app or one of the iPad, iPad, iPhone apps, um, or the downloadable test bank will be reflected here. You'll see the top 20 rankings, and then at the bottom you see what your ranking is. Um, and then the final feature we're going to look at from the main menu is the ability to reset your stats. Um, at the bottom of the screen, there is a settings button, and if you click on that, you can delete your performance statistics, you can reset your rankings, your flagged questions, you may also, you know, change your time, your answer timer for how many seconds you want for each question, or you can turn it off, the same as the display score, and you can also send us feedback. And then we can go back to the main menu. And now you're ready to begin taking tests. So good luck.